what the heck is going on? Why, why does it keep fogging up like this? Hi, this is Dr. Yang. In this video, I'll show you how to wear a surgical face mask properly to maximize comfort and fit and minimize fogging of the glasses. Let's get into it. Hi, before I get started, I wanted to just say that this is a how-to video for Similar. medical students or nurses who are you know, getting into the field or people who are uh, wanting to wear the mask a little better. So here we go. Uh, this is a regular procedure mask, okay? So a procedure mask is, uh, has uh, loops, uh, surgical masks have ties, um, but uh, the, the top side has the wire, it's stiff, the bottom is soft, okay? So you wanna orient it correctly. So wire side on top. Um, the first thing I do is uh, when I put on a mask is not to just put it on like this and then press it down. What happens is when you, a lot of people might stop at this point and the reason why it fogs is, notice the, the mask is on top of the glasses. So this is doubly bad for fogging because your breath not only blows on the inside of the glasses, but it's also blowing on the outside of the glasses. So the key thing is you need to seal off your breath from the glasses. So the best way to do that is you have to make sure that the, the mask is flat against your face, but under the glasses. Um, so I like to pre-bend my, my mask at the nose wire uh, before I you know, go into surgery. So I'll just, I'd like to, I don't want the mask to be crooked, so I'll find the middle, and I'm gonna try to bend the mask in the middle so it's nice and sort of straight. Otherwise, it'll be crooked on your face. So see how it's nice and straight. If you bend it and it's crooked, the TP will be a little crooked there. So next is you have to kind of determine the, you know, everyone's nose is different, but you have to determine the uh, side wall of your nose, how, how long is that? So if your nose is a little flatter, you might bend it something like, like that. But if your nose is a little bigger, then you might bend it maybe a little further down like that, okay? Here, I'll stand up like that, okay? For me, I'm, I'm somewhere in between, so I'm probably right about here. And my, the top of my nose is not as pointy, so I'm gonna round it off just a little bit. And with practice, you'll, you'll kind of know what your natural shape is. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna use a, uh, a, uh, a, a red wire to kind of show you what it looks like. So what I like to do is, um, when depending on your bridge of your nose, I like to kind of over crimp it just a little bit. This way, when it's sitting on your nose, it's actually sort of hugging down on your nose. Also on the side of the cheek here, instead of bending it up too much where it's not flat against your face, you can keep it slightly down. So when you put the loops on and it compresses, it's gonna, it's gonna lay a little flatter against your face. Okay, so let's come back to here. We got our, our curve. And then at this point, then I can actually keep my glasses on and slide it under my mask. Okay, so, and when I turn my head to show you my profile, what you want is you want this wire to be perpendicular to your nose. Yeah. This top strip, this top half inch, will lay down on your bridge of your nose like a piece of tape. If you have it sort of tilted forward, then it's, you'll maybe have a little bit touching, but not as much. So you want it almost like perpendicular or like a piece of tape. And then um, as far as touching the outside of the mask, uh, this is your own mask, okay? So before you, you know, you've washed your hands, you're clean. So you don't want to touch the mask on the outside once you leave home or once you leave your car. But when you're adjusting your mask, you try to do all the adjustments while you're still clean and then this way it doesn't fog, okay? So here we go. I notice that some people might wear the mask sort of a little less folded right here, and it's on more on the front of the chin. What happens here is it's, it's a little bit easier to breathe. It's looser here and looser here. So when you don't pull it under your chin, from a breathing standpoint, it's easier because 
this is very loose. I can stick my finger here and it's loose under my chin. Um, by keeping it a little bit loose like this, it does help minimize fogging. Because, um, the, what happens is the air is actually easily passing out through the side. These masks actually filter quite well if there's a good seal, but it also, when there's a good seal, um, it makes it harder to breathe. So in order to get a better seal, instead of having just a little bit of your chin touching the mask, these are designed to expand like an accordion. So if you pull down, then what happens is, notice the mask is now wrapped under your chin right here, as well as the front of your chin. So you almost, it's almost like it's taped on your chin and neck all the way from here to here, as well as here to here. Over here, it's well compressed the sides. But if you seal here and here, pull it deep under your chin, you're gonna get a reasonable seal. I'm gonna breathe inwards. So notice when I breathe in, it sucks the air inwards, okay? If it was more open like this, okay? So notice it doesn't move. So I went to get some tape. This is more for the medical students and residents. This is, uh, what I like to do is take a little bit of this 3M micropore tape. Uh, take a little piece, this looks like about three inches. Um, and just lay it across the top of the glasses like this. So um, in general, if you bend the wire right, you don't need to do this. I only do this on a super long case where I can't, you know, I really need to see well. I can't afford to have the glasses fog while I'm operating. You know, if you, you're having trouble or for whatever reason, you're not able to bend the wire well, uh, this can sort of uh, solve some of that problem, okay? Uh, I think that's it for this video. I didn't wanna, you know, make it too long. Have more video ideas to come. Uh, I'll just keep them as a separate video. See you next time, bye.